hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's um tutorial we're going to be working on the photo manipulation right here in pixel lab so this is actually not to add just from the um concept um from the inspiration i got from pinterest so i just like i was trying to you know figure out a way to do this and i just noticed that i could use maxing to do this so it's actually there's it's not add at all this very very simple this should i say this is the simplest photo manipulation right here in pixel lab so I'm sure you'll be excited to see this tutorial. So with that being said, let's get started guys. So you'll be getting the PLP file to this um design. So I won't be you know posting multiple links, I'll just give you the PLP file with the image inside. So just to you know um the size is already there, so there's no need to resize it. But if you want, of course you can do that, but um I'll be saying the size I worked with, this is the size I worked with. So just do well not to shift the layers because this um like you can see this um music um PNG, music with PNG on his um on his body if you shift it and it goes to the back or comes to the front all these layers that i blurred and everything won't be as long as you have shifted it then you have shifted it so that that actually depends on you so let's get started now so let me just disable my main layer let me see i've disabled that so i would um okay since we are going to max now let me just disable every single thing not every single thing actually there's just the main things that are covering my um okay i think that's all okay that's all so hold on let me duplicate this and duplicate the head okay then i'm duplicating the head okay let me cancel everything i did yes let me do this let me just set a grid line here so i'll know exactly what i'm doing next time all right so i'll delete the previous one okay there's only deleting the previous one let me just um do this place it here go to max and disable max mode so once you've done that let's just set it here first once you've done that the first thing it okay let me disable the mic so i can start maxing the first thing you um you're going to do is to max the cut out the guy's um head so this is actually easy because of is the it was not complicated or it doesn't have long hair or it's not together with his clothes or the back of his neck so this was actually easy because of the guy image also it was actually easy so um let's max the guy's image right now in order to get this okay, um perfectly okay once you position just make sure you position the way i'm doing click on these two icons copy the copy the um image position it again make the one at the back where is it the one at the back sorry a little bit transparent let me just go to let's say 40 okay once i've done that then start maxing the one at the front okay this is it um i'll go to back to in i'll move this to the top use the second icon in the busy mode here the second icon here and then be able to move it so i'll click on this i'll click on this let me just please move it here move it here move it here first let me move everything to his neck area so i'll click on this um one here and let me add a new dot for me to be able to readjust everything okay that's that's that let's zoom in and get started with this all right hold on hold on okay i'll just position this here position this here and i'll start maxing start tracing so you can see the the one at the back is actually helping me to see what i am doing so i'll just place this here move this here all right let me see if i can still zoom in I'll just do that. If you've watched my maxing series, then you should be able to do this even without watching this tutorial. <laughs> yes, that's right. You should be able to do this without even watching this tutorial. It's just the editing that will be in the part two of this um video. So in case that's what you want, you can do it to watch that as well. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, that's all let me disable this yes that's all so i'll just let me just delete where is it delete the one at the back and um okay where is my mic i'll enable this let me place it to the front first use let me place it to the front hold on let me put this here and put this here the image should be at the top at, at the front the microphone should be at the back so you can see the microphone head is actually not positioned let me lock the image now 
the this is not actually position so you can let's move it up a bit or down let's move it up now it's time to rotate it because it's depending on what you're maxing actually but is you can match it the, the guy the mic is looking at the you know looking up but it has to blend with the it's like since you replace you're replacing the head with this head so it has to like blend very well so i rotated this i remember i had to rotate this i move it to minus 12 let's see if it's minus 12 let me go to minus 12 okay that's that's there let me readjust it back i'll just readjust this hold on done hold on move it to the left oh I've, i'm doing going too fast and bring it down a little bit let it at least let it um clip together with the with the um man's where his head was before okay this is actually not too bad this is okay this is not too bad i can move it to the top again this is okay not too bad so i would lock the layers so once you've um done that in case you're not okay with that you can still um you know just try to rotate it so you're okay with whatever you are getting so let me move this layer now let me move both layers move them to this place so this is it like i said if you once you make mistakes to move any of the um layers from where they were initially you won't get the same the background will be the same way it'll just be similar but it won't be the same thing as mine so uh, i've not finished with this we so for, since yes here's another thing since the neck area was um um sorry the neck area was you know if it's not actually perfect so i have to blow it then move this to the front let me go to max max and disable this okay so i have to blow this so this is it to do this next time you go to edit you go to edit and you go to gradient click on gradient since you are doing top and bottom you have to click the gradient that is actually like that on the right side you pick your color x code depending on the color you want while for the next side you pick the same color x code but then since you're doing this, you pick the same color X code, then you reduce this to the ending, make this transparent. So that's why you can have this transparent. Then you can move, move, move this a little bit to this place again. It depends on you. So just do that. That is how we got um this. Okay, now it's actually big. Let me reduce the size and place it here. I can zoom in. All right. I think what I should do now is to move the old Disney back to the um middle, so I can see what I'm doing because i'll be struggling with space if i do that there so this is it let me zoom in back just make sure it's positioned properly to the beginning and the ending of the neck area just make sure it's positioned properly to the beginning and the ending part just so you can actually move this to the top if you want let's just do this now let me zoom out so you can see this is there i can push it to the right a bit so now we'll go to max because you can leave it like this so I'll go to max. Let me move this to the second layer here. It should be the image, the man, the, the guy's image should be in front of the whole thing. So you can see that it has actually blurred that part a bit. So now it's, it's time to go to max and um max this thing. Let me push it. Okay, sorry, this is I'm pushing the wrong thing. Let me push this to the top. Yes, this is okay. This is okay. So now it's time to max. So I'll go to max. And zoom in to see what I'm doing. Okay, mine is already already. <laughs> so we are maxing out. So once you mark, you, know, you click on out, move this to. Just make sure this. Hold on. So the neck, you are maxing it to align to make it align with the with the neck area. So I'll just place this here. I'll place this to, at this top area. Yes, I'll do this, and then I would do this. Yeah, and then I'll do this. Just make sure it is aligned. Just try to make it aligned. So you can see that. See, that is that. You can duplicate it if you're not okay with what you have. Du duplicate it and place it again. Let me place it here again. So the second one, then you can adjust this again. Let's just adjust this. Then you can push it to the top. But that's not necessary. Okay, mine is okay. So you can leave that. So I'll move this to move everything. I'll click on everything, click on the second icon that is here, and move this. Move this here. Okay, yeah. I'll move this here. Okay, this is where mine was before. I remember I used the grid line. Okay, this is a little bit too much. Hold on. I, I still want to move mine. 
I use there's a blur um, effect I use here. Okay, yes, this is it. Place this to the front. Okay, I can't get this anymore. Hold on. Is it very tiny? Yes, this is it. This is it, yes. So once yours will be there, so you just duplicate it. Okay, there's only duplicating the six will be two. So let me zoom in. So just position it to the part where you want it to be. So you can see you can still move it actually. So this is okay. Touch the second one. Okay, let me this is let me love this one that I just touched. I'll touch the second one and I'll move this too. So that so that that head part can be you know glowing. So if you want to do that, just make sure you do that. But if you don't want to do that, you can actually um leave it like that. This is it. Let me just confirm with this. So you can see the difference. Okay, uh, is this here? Let's see if this is here. Okay, yes, like I said, it's not there. So I'll just go to the icon here. Okay, yes, this is it. Because so when you're editing, it will actually show. So this is it. Yes, this is all. This is all. Okay, yes, guys, this is it. So this is it. How to you know work on a simple photo manipulation right here in Pixel App. Just be creative when you're working with this. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, kindly like and subscribe. And if you, if you want the tutorial on how to edit it to the exact way you're seeing this right now, do you have to click on the link in the description box below and you'll be able to learn how to edit it the way I did in Lightroom. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.